What's up YouTube? Welcome to another Trail Dogs Tuesday. We just got back from Haspen Acres. I knocked on most of the mud off. It was a muddy mess. Knocked most of the mud off already. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how we like to clean it up after we got most of the mud off. A good tip though, watch it at an angle. to where the buggy, the water will run off the buggy a lot easier. And um, you can get better angles and stuff with it too. And don't wash it on your driveway, or and then that's just more work for you to do. You have to clean it up and get the mud off later. So wash it in grass if you can. So there's your pro tip. So well, I already knocked, like I said, I already knocked most of the mud off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what we do. Is I take a one and a half gallon of um, laundry detergent. It's like 13 bucks for this. And then I got a one gallon thing of Simple Green. It's like eight dollars for this. And then I mix them in my foam cannon at a 50-50 ratio until it's all full and it just blankets it with white foam and it sticks pretty good too and the thing I really liked about this doing it this way is even in, even if you have to wash in the sun luckily we're overcast right now but if you have to wash it in the sun once you spray it on there again and it dries you spray the water back off when you're washing rinsing it off it gets it reactivates the soap and it, it works it works it works really well so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and knock a little bit more of the mud off that I see, and then we'll go ahead and uh, do the foam to it. So stay tuned. All right, so I got, I got most of the mud off. And so now we're gonna go ahead and swap nozzles and throw the foam to it and let the foam eat, you know, set on it for a little while and get, get some of the other mud and the mud residue off of it and stuff. I got, I got tired of spending like $25 for a quart of like the, your typical run of the mill ATV wash. And I, I ran across this on another YouTube page called The Everyday Guy. He did it and I was like, it's genius. It makes so much sense. So I already did it once before. It works great. So now we're gonna do it again. So now we're gonna throw the foam to it. It blankets it pretty well. And one of my favorite parts, it smells pretty good. So now, we'll let a lot of it set and activate and get a lot of the mud residue and stuff out of the, uh, out of all the little crevices and stuff. Do what the foam's intended to do. I mean, you can see, you guys might not be able to see on camera, but you can see the, uh, all the mud just dripping, the mud residue. The white foam's turning brown and stuff. It it does an awesome job. Plus, like I said, it smells really nice. So we'll go ahead and let it set for a little bit. And then what I what I like to do too, I throw a little dollop in my I got a bucket.
I got a I got a bucket with a 50/50 mix in it as well and water. And what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and get the bucket all set it up. And once I start seeing a lot of the the foam melt away, I'll do one more quick shot of foam. Let me reswitch my nozzle. Foam's almost gone. Yeah, you can see all the all the brown residue and stuff. So what I'll do now is now that it's almost gone, I'll hit it again and then I'll hit it with the mop. I can honestly say that you don't have to do this. The, the, the foam and the pressure washer does a really good enough job anyway. Just, I like making my buggy look very, very clean. You know, it's an investment. Well, not really an investment, more of a hobby. But you might as well, you got the time, you might as well do it. Take care of it. Now for all the bars and stuff that you can't get with that. The card ran out, swapped the new one in. We're good now. What you missed was I went ahead and hand washed this side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and spray off the soap and then I'll do hand wash the other side and then we'll be wrapped up. Now we're gonna foam the other side, hand wash it, and do a quick uh, do a quick rinse on the interior, and then we're good to go. Swap it back over. Grab the scrub brush. All right, there she goes. So be There's that. Got everything cleaned up and it looks really good. Like, like really good. Um, so what I'll do now, I'll show you how to do a quick inside video. I treat the inside a little differently. I don't really try and douse it. This is pretty much the first time I've ever really threw any pressure to it. Okay, so here, the uh, pressure washer gets really loud, so I'm just gonna dub over it. What I'm doing is I'm basically using it, the pressure washer with zero pressure, just like a hose nozzle, and uh, wiping everything down by hand. 
keep the splashing down. That pretty much wraps it up. Usually, usually I'll pull the seats out separately real quick, but they were doused in mud. So I just went ahead and did it this way. Um, you usually don't want to do it like this and then throw it in the garage or whatever, because then it, the seats will stink. They'll smell like mildew. But yeah, I mean, she's as clean as it gets. Looks brand new. And um, I'm happy with the, the mixture. Like I said, I was paying like $25 for a quart. Now I got two and a half gallons worth of mix for 25 bucks. So it's definitely a win in my book. And it looks really good, works really good, and I guarantee you got this best smelling buggy out there. So that'll do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. See you guys next Tuesday. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.